All right, here we have a superior electric little disc fan from what I remember. These were sold in the really early 80s, which really shocks me, but crazier things have happened. Um, but yeah, I picked this to pick this up today at a flea market in Anderson for uh, I paid a little bit more than I usually do for these little dime store fans, but I felt bad for the poor thing. It's been sitting there for years, and no one has bought it. So I figured, you know what, I'll take it in and keep it with my other cheap dime store fans that I've gotten. But yeah, I used to have the bigger version of this years ago. I think it was like the 10-inch version that oscillated. And that one... It's one of the first all-metal desk fans I ever had. And I remember it quit working at some point. And I tried to take it apart. And then it blew up and caught fire. And for the longest time, I kind of, like, didn't want to have anything to do with superior electric fans. But those days are over. I have this one. And I have its older sibling. I figured they'd make some neat display pieces, if anything. It's got to be really cool S that I've always really liked. It's white painted blades, blue base. This thing was kind of dirty when I got it. I haven't really cleaned it up all the way yet, but it was seized up. And it was squealing when I first got it. Um... Apparently, whoever got it paid four bucks at Goodwill for it. I didn't pay four bucks. That would have been a better deal, honestly, but whatever. It's manufactured by Superior Electric Products Corporation, Cape Garrido, Missouri. 120 volts, 60 cycles, 0.43 amps. I don't know. That might be a date code. I don't know. Still has all his rubber feet, which is surprising. But yeah, I figured I'd take this and add it to the collection. But anyway, we got 121 watts running through the house or the garage. And we'll start up. It's only a one speed fan, so here's high. Runs pretty good. It's kind of loud and annoying. That's kind of just how these always are. Like I said, these are very cheaply built fans. But, believe it or not, this is still better than what we have now. Don't know. The quality is about the same. as like, you know... This would have been a, a cheap fan back in, like, I guess this would have been the early 80s, late 70s when this fan came out. Because the green one's from 74. I don't know a whole lot about Superior Electric, but they always made kind of, like, cheaper fans. I think they eventually got absorbed into Lasco at some point in the probably late 80s. Anyway, it's drilling 0.38 amps and 35 watts. Not a bad little fan, really. It actually moves some decent air. No medium, no low, so off we go. Like I said, this thing took the oil pretty well. I didn't really put that much in it. And it's working pretty good now. It's got a pretty good coast down too. For me not doing much to this, it cleaned up pretty good. But anyway, there's a Superior Electric fan. Hope you enjoyed. And thanks for watching.